Hey, Dr. Clarko, what are the long-term and short-term effects of weed on a miner's brain? Developing young people, teens, you know, adolescents, young adults, the brain and the nervous system in general will continue to develop up, up until about 25 years of age, more, more or less, okay? So developing brains are very sensitive to environmental things, including drugs, okay? Let, let's break it down and let's talk about long-term first, okay? So with weed. So long-term effects on, on minors developing brains. You get things like inability to problem solve, trouble concentrating and focusing. Um, you can get some incoordination, lack of motivation. These are the kind of things that, are, that you can see in terms of behavior. But they've done studies with adolescent brains where they've done like functional MRIs and other things where you can see the brain. And long-term use basically does the following. It can cause like a shrinkage in gray matter and number of neurons in the brain. Uh, and so essentially it's like your brain is shrinking a little bit from chronic use. And I don't think there's any scenario where a shrinking of your brain is a good thing. Okay. Now, short term really depends. So if you're not on the spectrum of addiction, that is, i.e., you don't have a family or personal history of substance use disorders of any kind from cigarettes on up to, you know, whatever, alcohol, other drugs, then short term occasional recreational use of weed is probably going to be not very harmful probably gonna be fine. I mean, depends how you take it. And like if you're smoking, you know, there's some risk for some lung conditions and asthma and then more serious stuff if you're chronic. But as a short term, probably very minimal risk. But if you're on the spectrum of addiction, then weed can be a gateway to more serious drugs and addiction. Be sure to follow us for more recovery and addiction information. If you're struggling and need help, contact us in our profile below.